Hi students, it's Claire. Welcome to Book Discussion. Today's lesson is about David Sedaris and we're going to discuss the story Six to Eight Black Men. This was a story we really enjoyed and we'd like to put it in some context for you. In the story, David talks about the differences between American and Dutch Christmas traditions. So, I'm here in Russia and they have their own Christmas traditions too. Tekin is here to help me out so we can compare British and Russian Christmas traditions. So let's begin with names. In David Sedaris's story, the American version of uh, Santa is Santa Claus. Uh, in Britain, we call him Father Christmas. How about in Russia? Well, in Russia it's pretty simple. It's just Dead Maros. But in English it sounds like Dead Maros, but <laughs> I don't know. Sounds very gothic. Yeah. We all know what Santa Claus looks like. What does Dead Maros look like? Dead Maros, not Dead Maros. Because <laughs> you said like Dead Maros. Dead Maros. It's a Dead Maros. Dead Maros. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Basically, he looks like Santa, but he wears not a red suit. He wears totally blue one with a weird hat. Looks like more like a castle. Like hat. sort of dome yeah. shape. Oh, blue is like the color of coal, and he's Dead Maros. Of course, because Maros means frost. Yeah. Ah, it's so. all making sense now. So in the David Sedaris story, he says uh, in the Netherlands, Saint Nicholas used to be the Bishop of Turkey. Um, does that fit with your idea of Dead Maros? No, our Dead Maros, he is just a normal guy, and he lives in town called Bilikiustuk. It's not like a city for, for him. It's just a city where he lives. He has a residence there. So he doesn't live in the North Pole? No. David Sedaris is particularly surprised when he discovers Saint Nicholas lives in Spain. Mainly because he says Santa doesn't speak Spanish. What language does Dead Maros speak? Basically, he speaks languages which are in Russia, but probably if he doesn't know the language, he chooses a uh, Google Translate. Uh, <laughs> like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in Britain, uh, Father Christmas travels the same way as the American Santa Claus. He has a sleigh and he has his reindeer. Uh, one of them maybe is Rudolph with the red nose and he, the, they fly. So what about Died Maros in Russia? How does he travel? He uses sleigh with horses. I see. So it's kind of a combination. You've got the horses from the Dutch tradition and you've got the sleigh from the British and American tradition. Yeah, but I guess there is like three horses. Um, the British stroke American Father Christmas Santa Claus is really fat. Like he's hugely fat. So he probably needs like six, eight reindeer to pull his sledge because yeah. he's so fat. Is he fat? Is Jed Maros fat? He is huge, but not fat. More of a tall guy. Yeah, yeah he doesn't have hamburgers. Oh. Just Russian food. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal Santa Claus. <laughs> the climax of David Sedaris's story is discovering who helps Saint Nicholas. As you know, it's typically elves uh, for Santa Claus. But to the Dutch, this is a bit silly. Saint Nicholas has six to eight black men to help him. No, it's not. It's just his granddaughter, Snigurichka, and some oh. of the snowmen, you know. That sounds interesting. Can you say her name again? Um, Snigurichka. Ah, that's a nice name. That's his granddaughter, and her name, Snigurichka, is from snow. You know, it's like snowman Snigurichka. So, naughty and nice. Uh, in Britain, like in America, uh, if you're a bad kid, uh, they say, Father Christmas will bring you coal instead of, you know, the presents that you want. 
Of course, rather disturbingly, in the Sidara story, uh, Saint Nicholas beats you <laughs> if you are a naughty child, or worse, puts you in a sack and takes you back to Spain. So, tell oh, us about Russia. In Russia, I think he doesn't have any punishments for us because this is the one day in the year where everyone tries to be kind to everyone. So just just giving you presents and having a nice day, even if you're a bad person. Wow, Jed Maras is nice even to the bad kids. Yeah. But can you think of any other differences between the Western traditions uh, surrounding Christmas and the Russian traditions of Christmas? Yeah, first of all, we've got a different date of having a presence. It's not 25. Of December, right? It's on the first of January. A new year. Yeah. We also don't have stockings, right? Uh, yeah. The the big socks. Yep. Yeah, we don't have them. We think that we don't need them. Anything else you can think of? Do you eat turkey? But in my family, it's duck and chicken. Oh, duck! Well, I really duck, like yeah. duck. Really. To be honest, in my family we don't have chicken either because my parents are vegetarian. So we have like fake mm. meat. We have vegetarian meat. That's awful. <laughs> That's not a, I don't know, celebration without meat. meat it's just... Spoken like a true Russian. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed finding out a bit more about a different Christmas tradition. Write a comment in the box below. What do you do on Christmas Day? Thanks for watching. Bye bye! <laughs>